we want to talk about some of products. First off, what's a truth table? Truth table is going to show us all the input combinations, input combinations, and the outputs for all those input combinations. For example, if you had a, uh, all right, two truth tables over here for an end gate, an end and an OR gate. One for an end, one for an OR gate, two truth tables. So you'd have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And same here. Let's make life easy. Let's just copy that. Okie dokie. 0, 0 on an end gate gives me 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, and 1. If you end a 1 or 1, you get a 1. With an OR gate, 0, 0 gives me a 0. I'll put 1, 0, 1 gives me a 1. 1 or 0 gives me a 1. 1 or 1 gives me a 1. That's my truth table. Here are my inputs. Let me change color here. Here are my inputs. There and there. And that looks nice. And my inputs are to the right. Whoops, that didn't look good. One more time. There we go. And there we go. Those are my inputs. Well, so that we can see them more clearly. I'll pretty it up. There we go. So I've got my inputs, input combinations, and my outputs that correspond to those input combinations. Oh, I want to put this into the format of an SLP. How do I do that? Well, first I have to have a problem to do. So let's make up a problem. In this problem, we have a black box here. And it's got, let's say, one, two, and three inputs and one output. We don't know what those are. We'll call it A, B, and C. This would be Z. I'll put Z. So we want to make a Boolean expression for this and then build a circuit based on that Boolean expression. That's what we want to do. One, make a Boolean expression for this, and then two, build a circuit based on this Boolean expression. And we can do that. All right, so let's do that. Um, step number one, we need a table. So let's make a table of inputs and outputs and see what happens. So we have three inputs, so we call them A, B, and C. Output Z. So I said we have three inputs, so that translates into two to the third, translates into eight inputs. Zero, one, zero, one. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. There we go. Now let's say I've got 0, 0, let's say 1 there. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. That's good. So for 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, I've got, the, I've got 1 outputs. Now what do I do? Well, step number 1, I have to isolate all my, my Zs that equal 1. So that's here and here. I'm going to make a truth that I'm going to make a Boolean expression based on these two. So let me get rid of these other guys. Ah, huh, there we go. Gone. Gone. And almost gone. And gone. So there we go. I now have isolated all my one outputs. Step number two. Boolean expression done. Boolean expression, right one. If you took this guy right here, this row, and fed its A, B, and C into an AND gate, how could you make that come out as a 1? Which would be this guy. How can you do that? Well, if you feed it a 0, it's not going to come out as a 1. So you'd have to take this A and not the A. B, you can leave that alone, because it's already 1. C, uh, you'd have to knot that one too. Let's get this down here. C knot to get a, to get that one. All right, that's good. That's the first part. Or if you had this other guy, this other line here. What other line? This one here. How would you get that to become a one? Well, well, first let's write this over here. What do I have so far? I have A knot, B, C knot, or this guy in the right format will give me a one. All right, so how do I write this guy, the second line, in the right format? Uh, let's see. If A came in as is, that would be okay. If B came in as is, that would not be okay. I'd have to not that. You make that a 1. If C came in as is, that would be okay because C is a 1. Is a one. So let's write that here. Or A, B, not C. If you get this guy, A not B, C not, or this guy, a, B, not C, you're going to get a 1 output. Yes, that's right. That's it perfectly. Now, I want to take this, my Boolean expression, and build my circuit. What's my circuit going to look like? Well, I'm going to have an OR gate, an AND gate with three inputs, and another AND gate 
with three inputs. That's what I'm gonna have. It'll look like this. One, that's A naught, and B, and then whoops, let's move this up a bit, and C naught. All right, C naught. And these guys will feed into an AND gate, like so. How about over on this side, AND gate number two? That says A B naught C. So let's draw that A and B naught and C. These will come in like this. And then what are we going to do with their outputs? Well, it tells you right here. We're going to OR them together. We're going to OR the output of this guy with the output of this guy. We're going to do what? OR them together. Like so. And there is our circuit. That is amazing. So, to recap what we've learned so far, we took a, we created a sum of products truth table out of an AND and an OR gate. Pardon me. We talk, we're talking about sum of products, and we, <clears throat> we made a truth table out of an AND and an OR gate. And we talked about making a Boolean expression from from some invisible black box and then making a circuit out of the, the resultant Boolean expression. And we said it's going to have three inputs, and that means two to the third inputs. That means two to the third combinations. That means eight possible combinations. And we would have to, then we isolated, then we made a truth table and isolated all those lines where there was a one output and made a Boolean expression out of these two outputs, which was here. And then we constructed, using this Boolean expression, a circuit to do this job. Well, that's what we did. And I thank you so much for listening. And this is George Bull. Bye-bye now.